everyone and welcome back to my channel i wanted to make this video today because i wanted to document all of the different wicks that i have used with the igi 6046 um i used uh quite a few wicks <laughs> since testing this wax out and i wanted to really make this video because there's little to no information out there about wicking this specific type of wax and I wanted to be able to help others as well as myself because I'm a beginner as well. I'm a beginner as well, so I'm still learning the candle business and how to get the right wick for my Pacific jar and wax. But I just wanted to be able to help others that may be using the exact same wax and maybe even the same eight ounce straight sided jar as me that doesn't know where to begin with wick testing. And I wanted to be able to at least have this as a guide for, for anybody that maybe want to try these wicks. They'll know kind of a guideline of where to try to start. So if you have used any of these wicks, please leave a comment below expressing what you liked or maybe what you didn't like about these wicks. And let's get on into the video okay so um the hpsp wicks these wicks are supposed to be made for coconut waxes and coconut wax blends they are slow burning wicks which is why they say they are supposed to be made for coconut waxes because apparently coconut wax is supposed to love slow burning wicks so when it came to attaching the wick the wick came out of the tab after that happened, I went and researched whether it was just a characteristic of this wick or if it was something else and saw that some other people had also complained about this as well, but with other type of wicks, not just the HPSP wick. But I also saw that they recommended to just use some pliers or something and just tighten the wick um to the tab i actually got pretty good hot throw with the wick though um it's actually the second wick series that gave me the hot throw i'm looking for minimal to no mushrooming or soot and the milk pool was great the jar wasn't hot to the touch now the 42 had a really big flame and terrible mushrooming and really hot when i went to go touch the jar if I would have went with the recommendation to go up two to three sizes with this wig, I really would have had problems because the 42 already gave me a big flame. So I imagine going up two to three sizes, I would have definitely had an even bigger flame. Now, CD wicks are the first wig that I actually tried with this wax. And the relationship between me and CD wicks has been a love and hate relationship since the beginning. But these wigs are um, flat braided wigs. It's designed to ensure a constant burn with higher fragrance loads like softer and natural waxes. Now, like I said, me and this wig has a love and hate relationship because these wigs has given me the best hot throw I have ever had with any other wig so far. I have had the six the 7, the 8, the 10, and also the 12 size wick. And I have gotten great throw from all except the 6. It gave me a full melt pool, but it didn't give a good high throw. The sweet spot for my jars is an 8 and a 10. The problem is with some oils, I get high flames and lots of soot. I mean, a lot of it. And with other oils, I can get a nice burn all the way down, no trimming, little to no soot, just perfect. The wick doesn't turn my wax any color. The only wick that I had that did that was the Eco Wick. I have seen that with these wicks, they said that they are prone to mushrooming. So I'm guessing if you use these, it's just something you have to just deal with um, as long as it's not too bad because I have also read that minimal mushrooming is okay. That you just don't want a lot of mushrooming. I feel that once I figure out the perfect wick for each type of oil, this may be the series that I go with. But I will have to see because I do have some HTP wicks coming as well as um, some zinc wicks. I heard that zinc wicks are good with this wax or pretty good with giving a high throw with this wax as well but i'm not too sure if i'm going to try zinc wicks yet
Okay, guys. Well, that is it for this video. I hope that I was able to help somebody with this video. Um, hope I was able to help somebody make a decision on what wig that you should probably start with with this video. I know that everybody's experience is different. What may work for me may not work for you. What work for you may not work for me. But I hope that I was able to at least help or at least give you a start point for where you may want to start with wick testing and i will see you in the next video bye